In this video I'm going to talk about why I'm upgrading my dust collection system and this is going to be the first of two videos. In this one I'm going to talk about why and in the next video I'll talk about how I'm upgrading and what I'm upgrading to. This video is going to be predominantly just me talking so if that's not your thing you might want to watch a different video. First I'll talk about my current dust collection system. So currently in my workshop I just have two 30 litre shop vacs. One of them is hooked up to my table saw all of the time and the second one I use on multiple machines just by moving the hose around and I use that for the mitre saw, the benchtop belt and disc sander and also occasionally the band saw. I tend to only use dust collection on the band saw if I'm using it for a long period of time. Most of the time I'm just doing quick cuts so usually I'll just rely on the passive dust collection which is a dust collection drawer at the bottom of the band saw and that collects most of the dust. I also use the second shop vac for powered hand tools such as my random orbit sander and my circular saw. There's one machine that I don't have any dust collection system for and that's my thickness planer and jointer and the reason for that is because it creates such a high volume of chips that really it requires one of the large 100 millimeter diameter hoses and the 30 litre shop vacs wouldn't be ideal for that either because they would just be filling up too quickly. So at the moment when I use the thicknesser or jointer I basically just wear a respirator and sweep up afterwards. There are a few issues with my current setup that I want to address with my new system. Firstly, health. While shop vacs like the ones that I'm using at the moment offer a pretty good solution for collecting most of the dust particles produced by machines, unfortunately they aren't very reliable at dealing with the smallest micron particles of dust that are the most harmful to your lungs. The most harmful dust particles tend to be created by things such as sanding and cutting woods like MDF. The reason for this, and by the way this was a complete surprise to me and something that I only found out having researched some new dust collection systems, is that unless your extractor has a HEPA cartridge or filter bag fitted, once it collects all of the dust, some of the smallest particles of dust then get exhausted out back into the workspace environment. And when you move around your workspace and disturb that dust, obviously it gets airborne again and could end up in your lungs. If you're wearing a respirator or mask all of the time you're in the workshop, then that probably isn't too much of an issue. But I for one don't wear it all of the time and I suspect some of you don't too. So it's important to me to upgrade to a machine that is rated for M-class use, which means that it's capable of dealing with those small dust particles. The second issue for me is noise. One of my shop vacs is quite loud and the other one is even louder. Most inexpensive shop vacs are rated at around 80 decibels and if your workspace is close to other people such as neighbours that can be a nuisance especially when it's connected up to another machine that is also loud. So for example I consider my table saw to be loud and that's connected up to a shop vac which is also loud. Not necessarily a problem for me because I'm wearing air protection but for my neighbours I can imagine it's probably a bit annoying. You can buy dust extractors that operate at a lower noise level. I've seen some as low as 65 decibels. You can also try to contain some of that noise within the space by using sound insulation and that's why I've recently added some rock wool sound insulation to the extension on my shed which is where my new dust collection system is going to be located space. My workshop is quite small so having two shop vacs in here taking up space isn't ideal and my plan for the future is that I just want one extractor to be connected up to all of my machines in the workshop. So if I can get rid of my two shop vacs in exchange for a dust extractor that's accommodated outside in my shed extension that's a lot of extra space that's freed up which I can use for storage of other things. The fourth issue for me currently is having to deal with the dust particles once they've been collected. For a long while now I've wanted a cyclone system but I just haven't been able to figure out how I can get one within the small space that I have available. But now the shed extension is built I should have space for a new cyclone system and it's going to be a homemade one. That means I shouldn't have to deal with cleaning vacuum filters anywhere near as often as I do currently. And less time cleaning filters and emptying dust bins is more time in the workshop. While a new dust collection system should mean many improvements on what I've got already, there will unfortunately be some challenges to overcome and some drawbacks. In order to hook up all of my workshop machines into one extractor, I will need to install some ducting. In order to do that, I need to decide what type of pipe to use, what size pipe to use, and how I'm going to install it in my small workshop without it being too intrusive. I'll need to find the right fittings and adapters to connect up my cyclone, 
and all of my workshop machines which all have varying sizes of dust ports and I'll need some sort of blast gate solution so that I can control which machine the suction is operating on. I'll also need to think about dealing with potential blockages in the pipework. Convenience. Even though my current setup of using two shop vacs is very basic, it's actually really convenient because each of the vacuums has an automatic startup feature, which means they both have power sockets on top that you can plug your power tool into. And when you start up that power tool, the vacuum automatically turns on and extracts dust from that machine. My new system will not have that functionality. So that means I need to get used to turning my dust extractor on and off after using a machine. And if that wasn't enough, I also need to get used to opening and closing the blast gates to each machine before turning on the dust extractor and then using the machine. All of that is probably going to be really difficult for me to get used to, bearing in mind that I've been using this current setup for about three years now, but hopefully that's something that I will overcome and maybe I can prove that you can teach an old dog new tricks. Suction. So this one's unknown at the moment, but in theory, the suction from my new dust extractor isn't going to be as effective due to the length of the pipes to each machine. I think having done some initial planning that the longest run of pipe work from the extractor to my furthest away machine is going to be about four meters. I'm hoping that will be okay, but it's one of those situations where you don't know until you try it. So to summarize, I think I'm doing the right thing here and I'm hoping that the benefits of the new system will far outweigh the drawbacks of the old system, but I have no way of knowing until I install it all and test it out. And by that point, I will have spent a lot of time and a lot of money too. So it's going to be interesting. Check out the next video where I will cover what I'm upgrading to and how I did the upgrade.